What's up everybody? Welcome back to Beverage Hunters. I'm Justin. I'm Tim. We have a new beer out from Tin Barrel. What? What is it, Justin? Excited to try this one, Tim. Hope are you, you guys are. Hope you if you have tried it, let us know. Real good from Tin Barrel Brewing. Check it out. It Super is their new limited release. And it is in conjunction with Sims. What? Sims was it Fishing Reels? Fishing? Yes, I, yeah, I believe it's Fishing Reels. Proudly supporting the Home Rivers Initiative. Trout Unlimited. Limited release with Sims. Does it tell us what the Home Rivers Initiative is? It does not, but we probably should have done that before. All right, so this is a summer ale from Tin Brow Brewing. Just released. It is replacing Snake Run. That is now gone. So this is coming in at 5% alcohol, 24 IBUs. Brewed using traditional methods and subtle champagne-like fermentation, this Kolsch-style summer ale is clean, crisp, balanced, and almost as light as a dry fly. These cans fit conveniently in the front pocket of your Sims waders and pairs well with your favorite backcountry fishing spot. Fish it well and drink beer outside. Here's the cans, super cool looking design on them. Once again, the classic tin barrel kind of a style. And you got a cool picture of a dude fishing um, on the back of the can here. <laughs> yeah, all right guys, so you get these in the six packs. Um, make sure you go follow Tin Barrel Brewing at Tin Barrel Brewing on Instagram. Um, and they also have a YouTube channel where they do slight reviews like this, just not as in depth as ours. All right, so here we go. Once so I again, have noticed that they've been calling their different beers different things. Like uh, they just changed um, Apocalypse from just the IPA where it says Indiana Pale Ale to mm -hmm. now it's a West Coast IPA. They're tweaking their branding, people. They are, and they're changing some of their packaging as well. So here we go. Real good, brand new out from Tin Barrel Brewing. Let's see what's going on. Hmm. That's a very Kolsch strong, style uh, ale here, guys. Look at that. Look at that. It's almost a clear color, too. Beautiful looking beer. Why is this being terrible on me? Why am oh, I you bad are at just, this today? He is just dripping on <laughs> For once, I poured and you just had a mess. <laughs> All Here's right. The cat. This cat look at This smells very like a. Uh, German beer. It does. It has a very strong Kolschy, malty kind of a smell going on there. The cat's just uh, having too much. Cat's fun being there. too weird. Um, <laughs> what does it say? Champagne-like fermentation, Kolsch, Kolsch style summer ale, clean, crisp, balanced, mm. almost light. This is actually probably one of the lightest beers I've seen from Tin Barrel. Yeah. So I'm wondering if this is close to like, <clears throat> you know, pubs, their Budweiser, this is their lighter. Light. I, this is, this is good. This is kind of exciting. And it's only 24 IBUs. It's going to be pretty light. I'm sorry, people. <laughs> this cat's being really weird. He's usually not this playful. Where are you, Sammy? Around. Come here, Sammy. This is a little distraction. It's been running around everywhere. Say hi to the kitty. Here's Sammy. Did you get your attention? Oh, yep. Now she's in the old <laughs> All right, we're All back right. from the distraction. Now the that the cat is gone, appearance. let's try this. Cheers, everyone. Very, uh, whoa, gee, Tim is just a mess today. And this is our first beer, guys. First beer. Tonight. Oh my God. What does that tell us, telling everybody? Wow. This is a 10 barrel beer? What? So the smell is stronger than the taste. It is so sure. light. It is very, very, like at first, like it's weird because at first I don't really taste much of anything. No. And then it kind of settles in after you let it, after your first drink. Uh, but it is, is a very, crazy. very light beer. Like it's so weird coming from Ten Barrel, which is known yeah. for like IPAs and heavy beers or like, you know, just. Wow, not a light, not not known for light beers, except for their pub, which is more like just a regular lager. Just a lager, yeah. So this but is light. It's kind of got a sweet. It is it, malty aftertaste, just like just right there. 
It fits the man. name of a summer ale. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a good summer beer. And champagne-like, definitely I get that kind of a vibe. Almost, I almost want to say apple-ish. Almost a little apple taste in it. Just a hint. Can I get it? Maybe not. I get it almost, almost like a cider type of a feel and flavor. Just a, just the slightest hint. I don't get it as I'm drinking it, but I get like a little. Hey, maybe I'm here. Yeah, just like a like right at the end. Just like that little tiny tart sweet. Just a yeah. little. It almost tastes apple to my. Maybe it's just the citrus. I feel like there's a little citrus in this. Yeah. You can't really smell it on the nose. It's it's very multi Kolsch lager. Very I, I would European, ger almost German style. Yeah. And even nose. though it's like an ale, it does remind me of the pub beer, but just as a light, lighter version of it. Yeah, that it, 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 it still does, has actually. good flavor. It's not overpowering. It's just it's got good flavor, but it's light, and it just kind of sprinkles itself in there. Very crushable, dude. Like you could pound these. Yeah, this it is a very good beer for summer if you're out in the yard or just out fishing. having a barbecue, out fishing, just being out and about. It's like the perfect beer to be out in the yeah. sun, and it's not gonna make you feel heavy, not gonna weigh you down. Yeah, I mean you can see it's it's like it's clear. Like it's the the beer you can mm -hmm. practically see through it. It's light flavor, super bright, delicious. Like it's good. It's yeah. And it's from, like we were saying, it's from Tin Barrel, which is more the heavier, um, you know, very hoppy, mm -hmm. full body beers. And this is different. I'm excited. Yeah. Except for their seltzers. That's a different story. Yeah. But for their beers. For their beers, this is, it's a, I'm not going to say it's the best beer I've ever had, but it's, it's a good, like if you're looking for just a good, light, flavorful summer beer, I'd pick this one up Man. and give it a try. Yeah, because it definitely like they want. They're not gonna say light beer on it, but it has a lighter beer characteristic. Yeah, for sure. Go pick it up. Yeah, um, I'm it gonna try. rate this one. I'm gonna go with. I think I'm gonna give this an eight, man. I'm, I'm gonna go. I would buy this one. I might buy another six pack actually, because this is really good. Yeah, I'm gonna go one and a half thumbs. Like I, I like it. I'll definitely like I'd drink it again. Yeah, you know, if it was on a good deal, I'd pick it up. If it was at a place, it'd be one of the first beers I'd grab, like at a barbecue or something. This might yeah. taste good with fish, actually. To be honest with you, it's that. You know, you have to get some fish to cook up to try. And Maybe, hey, uh, you'll see a video with us, dude. Beer battered cod. Maybe Ooh. use this as your beer batter. Hey, we should pro. Bro. Just saying, there's a lot of ways to infuse beer into cooking things, and this light beer could be one good with fish. Who knows? Don't know until you try. Dang. Well, dang. This is good beer, guys. Go give it a try for yourself. Let us know in the comments. Remember, it's out. It's a limited release, so get it while it's hot. It should be here for at least a few months yeah. uh, throughout the summer, because... Um, they used to do seasonals, now they just do limited releases so they can get more out or make it last a little longer if it's doing real well. Real. Real. Real good. Real. <laughs> <laughs> definitely give it a try. Tim Merrill's making the r some good moves right now, so yeah, and go try I've definitely heard of some interesting things coming coming down the pike, so we'll keep an eye out and our ears There's open for that. some cool stuff coming. Can't wait to see. All right, thanks guys. Make sure you're subscribed also, please. Subscribe, uh, leave a like on the video, and comment down below. And you can follow us over on Facebook at Beverage Hunters, on Instagram at Beverage underscore Hunters, and on Twitter at Beverage Hunters. Do it. We're everywhere. We'll see you guys later. And leave a like. And subscribe. And the check mark thing for notifications. Bing. Every, turn on the bells. Every bell you can do, everything just you can turn it. on, just click everything. Help us know? get to 500. We're, all, we're, all, we're close. Yeah. Get we're only it 130 up. away. 130 subs from 500. So let's go. <laughs> let's go.